welcome back to Kristen's ASMR. I hope you're having a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening. Um, I'm back with the close-up video today as I'm going to be doing my ASMR concert ramble. A soft spoken ramble about the concerts that I've been to over the years. Um, I started going to concerts when I was 16 and um, I have some t-shirts of some of the concerts I went to, some concerts I didn't get a t-shirt, um, but I'll kind of lead you on a meandering through my concert experience. Um, so to start off with, I, I love live music. Um, let me tell you, just, I'm not a huge crowds person, but something about being in the crowd for an artist that you love, being around them, being, to he being able to hear um, other people singing their songs while you're singing it, it's such a magical experience. Um, I just really love live music so much. Um, so, the very first concert that I ever went to, like I said, was when I was 16, and that was the American Idols Tour 2009. Um, now, I had started watching Idol in um, season 5. Um, Taylor Hicks won that year, I believe. Um, so this 2009, um, tour though, this was season eight. I was so excited. I couldn't wait to go to my first concert. Um, this was the little lookbook from it. And, um, my absolute favorite, favorite idol from the season was Adam Lambert. I'll tell you. He got robbed. I think he should have won, but he's still having a good career now. You know, he's doing stuff with Queen and everything. Um, I was also a big fan of Danny Goki. Um, Chris was okay, the winner, but eh, I didn't think he was that great. Um, uh, actually hanging up at my grandmother's house still. I should have brought it home for this video, but that's okay. Because I had the poster that I made for that concert. Um, and since it was 2009, just to give you a time capsule of, uh, the uh, times with the outfit, um, I was wearing yellow skinny jeans and a green shirt. So we had iron done some iron-ons, like rock-on, stuff like that. But yeah, the yellow skinny jeans, those color skinny jeans were definitely a thing of the um, late 2000s, early 2010s. Um, but, got this lovely little lookbook. I had to get one of the individual pictures of Adam. I emo boys let me tell you love an emo boy yeah I, I really liked him a lot um I really wish I'd been able to go to the concert um the season before uh David Cook that was like my favorite uh favorite idol really liked him a lot um kind of embarrassing but uh back in the day with American Idol instead of just texting your vote or voting on the app you could actually call and I voted for David like 400 times, but I digress. Um, this concert was so fun. I love being able to hear Adam live. Um, one of my favorite performances from that season was um, his Mad World cover. Oh, just so haunting and so good. Um, one of my other favorite performances during that season um, was his um, Feeling Good cover. I can still picture it. He was walking down the stairs. He was wearing this like white suit, black shirt. Loved it. But reminiscing. Um, yeah, this was a super fun concert though. My mom and I went. Um, it was really cool. Um, let's see. Uh, Matt Gerard here. When we were standing in the venue waiting to get in, we saw him walking by the rope. So that was kind of cool to see him that up close. Um, so yeah. This is Allison Yorhita, Danny Goki, Matt Lambert, Chris Allen, Matt Gerard, uh, Lil Rounds, I believe her name was, Anoop Desai, Michael Carver, Megan something, and Scott McIntyre. Um, and I will show you the shirt that I got from this concert. Lovely Adam with his emo hair and the eyes. Um, still wear the shirt fairly regularly, <laughs> but I, 
couldn't have asked for a better first concert experience. It was amazing. I loved it. Two thousand nine. Um. So up next was my. Uh, oops. I've got a list here, so I'm excited to forget stuff. Um. Up next was the American Idol 2012 concert. That was the lookbook for this concert. Um, so three years later, that was season 11. Philip Phillips was the winner that year. Jessica Sanchez was the runner up. Skylar Lane loved her. Joshua was a Billy fan. Loved Holly. Um, hey June, I believe, I don't remember her name, Colton, Colton, I loved Colton, Elise, and I don't remember his name, uh, but this concert was so fun because, uh, after the concert we stood outside waiting for them to come out, and, um, we got to get right up close, and I got to see Colton up close, I, that was great, again, those emo boys, I tell you. Um, but really enjoyed that. It was cool to hear Philip perform live. Um, I saw it just got to see it at the same venue um, as my first concert, which was really cool. Um, I'm not going to say the name of the venue. It's just, you know, I like to keep it fairly vague where I'm from. Um, I mean, I could have traveled to the concert, but I like to keep it fairly vague where I'm from. Um, but got the Philip Phillips little individual poster. And the Colton Dixon. Colton's still so cute. Um, this was the last American Idol tour I went to. Um, still watch American Idol though. I do still love it. Now, for this concert, it was kind of creepy because my mom and I were walking back to our car at night, and um, this guy was just kind of like zigzagging across the streets, um, like towards us, so we were like, ah, what's happening? But all was well. Uh, but the American Idol concerts, those were so fun. Love those. Um, so up next, uh, some of these... I don't have the some of these I don't have the exact dates some of them I did try to look up but um oh actually four can't forget this is the American Idol Tour 2012 shirt now something with concert t-shirts I don't uh, black I know is the most common but like I get cat hair on it like you guys have seen my cat Frankie um so you'll see I have some concert t-shirts that are other colors other than black have it all the tour days that was fun um oh uh, there was nothing on the back of the first concert t-shirt um but let's see next up uh, jumped ahead a little bit but the next concert i went to i believe was in 2010 and that was the Daughtry concert. Lifehouse was there as well. Um, if you're not familiar with Daughtry, that is a band led by Chris Daughtry, who um, finished fifth on season five. Yes. <laughs> I had to think back. It's been a while. Um, yes. Uh, Chris Daughtry finished fifth on season five of American Idol. It was a big shock when he got let go. America's votes, um, but he's gone on to have a successful career with his band, which is great. Um, my mom really enjoyed him, so we had to make sure to go see him in concert. Um, it was the Leave This Town tour, the Leave This Town tour, which is fun to say, Leave This Town tour. Um, see, this is a nice white t-shirt, 
Um, and if you're not familiar with Chris Daughtry, that is him right here. Um, now, my story from that concert. Love the music and everything. Um, some of my favorite songs by him. Um, what I want. No surprise. Um, it's not over. Um, it was so funny because... So this concert was inside. And uh, my mom and I like to get, concert, to get, get to concerts early. You know, see the sights and everything. And uh, they would keep playing like these same promos and everything. And they kept playing like a video for a song, no surprise. So it was a big, um, it was a big joke among my mom and I that um, we started saying, stop playing this video. So that was kind of funny, kind of had to be there. Um, but we, um, also, sorry, just trying to think back. This, this concert was a while ago. Um, there was this girl who, oh, gosh, she kept, like, screaming during the concert, and I get she was excited, but, like, my ears were ringing at the end of the concert because she was pretty much right behind us. She was having a good time. Um, so yeah, that was that was the Leave This Town tour. Um, uh, Lifehouse was really good too. If you're not familiar with Lifehouse, um, the Sing Hey by a Moment, um, All In is another song that I really like by them. Um, I don't have a, uh, actually we've seen Daughtry, we've seen Daughtry three times. They were headlining twice. They were the, um, one of the supporting acts a third time. Um, the third, excuse me, the second, I'm consulting my list. Um, the second time that we saw Daughtry was in 2013 and they came with Three Doors Down. Um, that was really great rock and show. Um, and I will save when... Uh, they came a third time. I'll tell you who the supporting act is when I tell you who the main act was. Um, so next up, and I don't have a t-shirt, sadly, from this concert, but, uh, Tim McGraw. And it's really cool because on my little memories, it just recently came up that this was just about ten years ago. Oh, Tim McGraw is so great. Let me just tell you, he gets better with age. He's looking good. He is looking good, I'll tell you. Um... But yeah, my mom and I went to the Tim McGraw concert. That was so fun. Um, yeah, some of my favorite songs by him are uh, Live Like You Were Dying, um, Humble and Kind. Um, I can't think of the name of the song right now, but it's like Barbecue Stain and My White T-Shirt. I really should have written down the names of some of the songs, but that's okay. That's why this is a ramble. Uh, it's more about the concert experience. Um, but that was a really fun concert. Um, one of my, uh, I wish we would have brought Philly Tell out. That would have been super cool. But, um, one of my favorite songs is a duet they did called It's Your Love. A beautiful song. It's your love. Just does something to me. Shine through me. Don't get enough. And if you wonder about the spell I'm under, it's your love. I can't help singing. I, I love that song so much. Um, but yes, I really wish I had a t shirt from that concert, but I don't. Um, but that's okay. Um, I'm gonna skip ahead for a second because I have two artists who I've seen multiple times. One who I'll be seeing for the fourth time in July that I'm super excited about. Um, but we will skip ahead. Um, I don't have a t-shirt, but I've seen Nickelback. I know Nickelback's been polarizing. It seems like things have been kind of leveling out lately. Um, but I don't know why people hate on Nickelback. Like, oh, their songs sound the same. Well, you know, some people like that. 
I, I really like Nickelback. Like, they're, I have quite a few of their songs on my um, workout playlist. I, I really like them. Um, animals, Burn It to the Ground, um, If Today Was Your Last Day, uh, Rockstar, that's always a fun, like, karaoke one. Um, that was a rockin' concert. I really, I really enjoyed that concert. Um, it's so tough for me at concerts, too. Like, I was actually having a discussion with somebody, like, now when you go, people always are holding their phone up, taking pictures, taking video, which is great for memories. It is nice to experience it in the moment. But I hate taking videos because then I can hear myself singing and then I'm just, I don't need to watch that back. Um, but yeah, the Nickelback concert was super fun. Um, the nice thing is, like, I use my iPhone for recording these videos. Um, I have a Sony camera that I do bring and it's not a detachable lens so will let me do it, but I can zoom in really close, which is cool. Um, but yeah, I, the Nickelback concert was really cool. Really loud, but really cool. Um, so I'm going to skip ahead. Um, let's see, I put the t-shirts in the, no, that's okay. I might put the t-shirts in the wrapper. Okay. Um, so my absolute favorite artist is Luke Bryan. I love Luke Bryan so much. Love his music. Love his dance moves. Just great, attractive individual. So I have seen Luke Bryan three times. I have seen him in 2016, 2019, and 2021. Um, so this is the t-shirt from 2016. Love this blue. This was the Kill the Lights tour. Um, now, this was a very, very special concert, um, because this concert on July 17th, 2016, was Luke Bryan's 40th birthday. How lucky was I to be at his 40th birthday? Uh, Little Big Town was the supporting act, and they brought up cake, along with his wife Caroline, he did some drinking, it was great, that was, I love that, that, that was great. You know, my birthday is also in July, so nice little kinship there. Um, some of my favorite Luke Bryan songs. That's my kind of night. Sunrise, sunset, or sunrise, sunburn, sunset, repeat. Um, Drunk on You, play it again. The list could go on. Uh, it's, oh my God. I was so, so excited. Oh my God. The first time I got to see him and every subsequent time. I, I love him. I love him. Can we just look at the smile? Look at the smile. Oh my god. I'm like blushing. Love him so much. Um, so yeah, the birthday show, that was epic. Um, I cannot, I, I looked a couple times, I cannot find my tour shirt from 2019, but that's okay. Um, I would have seen him again uh, in 2020, but that got cancelled because of COVID. Um, but I did see him again in 2021. On the Proud to be Right Here t-shirt. I love this pink. This is one of my favorite shirts. I wear this shirt a lot. Um, but yes, the Proud to be Right Here tour 2021. There we go. Proud to be right here. Um, so yeah. Super excited. I am going to see him next month in July. And um I might do a little ramble video after that um, at concert. I said I'm not going to say where the concert is right now, but um, I'm super excited because it is a venue I've never been to um, and a place I've never been to. So stay tuned. That's going to be a fun show. Um, but yeah, he just puts on a great show. Um, nothing really specific from the 2021 show that I wanted to share, but I just had a fun time. But to have seen him for the fourth time. So, oh, excuse me. The next artist that I have also seen three times is Keith Urban. That's my mom's favorite. Um, the first time we saw him was in 2012. I do not have a shirt from that concert. Um, but we, oh man, that he, let me tell you, such a great guitarist, singer, sweet thing, kiss a girl. Um, 
somewhere in my car, cop car, great, love his music. Um, so the big memory from that show. So we had like a bunch of different guitars throughout the show. Oh my gosh. And one of them was this, um, this black guitar with, it made it look like a broken mirror all around the guitar. It was so cool. It was so cool. And like, it was one of those concerts where they had the main stage and they had the point where they could like, um, the arts go out in the crowd and then kind of perform in like a little mini stage. So that was, I really enjoyed that. Um, so that was 2012. Um, I, oops, got ahead of myself here. His Graffiti U World Tour 2018. This is a t-shirt. Pretty cool. Um, that show, um, nothing really particular from that show. Just great, great music, great times. Um, uh, oh, I will go back to Luke in a minute because I do have a story. Um, from the, uh, 2021 concert, I will tell, tell you. Um, so that was Keith 2018. Um, and then in 2022, his The Speed of Now tour. This is also one of my favorite shirts, I guess. Um, So, this concert is very, very special to me. Um, number one, because it was two days before my birthday. And number two, because my mom and I were sitting fourth row from the stage. We could really see him up close. That was amazing. I, <laughs> we put some confetti in like our pockets from the show. It was like a memory. Um, but fourth row, that is the closest, that is the closest I have ever sat at a concert. It was worth it, let me tell you. Um, I've never done like VIP and meet and greet. That's like on my list of things I want to do. But fourth from the stage, two days before my birthday was pretty freaking legit. Pretty freaking legit, let me tell you. Um, yeah, just amazing, amazing show. I also saw the lion sleeps tonight, so that was kind of funny. A wee moe, a wee moe, a wee moe. All right. Um, back to Luke for a second. So the 2021 show. Um, it was pouring just before the concert started, and his song called "Rain" is a good thing. So about 15 minutes before show start, the rain did clear, and there was a rainbow. So it kind of worked out that uh, "Rain is a Good Thing" was one of his songs. Um, so. Um, I'm going to move on to 2022, which was my biggest concert year. Um, I went to five shows that year, which you heard about one, the Keith. Um, so I'm going to talk about 2022 concerts. I already mentioned that in July, I'm going to another concert and I will end the video with, um, talking about some artists that I would love to see in concert. Um, so my first show of 2022 was in May. That was Garth Brooks. Stadium tour. So I will tell you where I was for that one. Um, that was in Foxborough, Massachusetts at Gillette Stadium. Um, and if you're not familiar with Gillette Stadium, that's where the New England Patriots um, football team plays. Uh, wow. I never thought we'd have a chance to see Garth Brooks. Growing up, my mom was a big country fan. Like, um, when the Thunder Rolls, that's one of my favorite songs. The Dance. Um, I mean, friends in little places, of course, but, oh man, that concert was amazing. Now I will tell you story time. So at the Garth concert, um, the, the thing about Gillette Stadium, there really is just one main road in and one main road out, which as you can imagine, um, lends to a lot of traffic. So Mom and I are like, okay, we're going to take an Uber from our hotel to the concert and then an Uber back to the hotel, right? Okay. Concert was starting at seven. Um, we figured, oh, we'll have the Uber pick us up around um, 3.30. 
So just let you know, our hotel was only about 20 minutes away from the uh, Gillette Stadium. It took us two and a half hours to actually get into the stadium. I had to pee so bad. Like the road was so backed up. People were like running into the woods to pee and then they'd catch up with like their ride. It was so crazy. Um, but the concert was so good. She, he brought out Trisha Yearwood, which is really cool. His wife, and she sang. Um, that was so epic. Um, <laughs> other story time. Um, I had these purple cowboy boots and I wore those. They, you know, they're comfortable enough, but um, concert gets done at like 11 o'clock at night, trying to get an Uber, a nightmare. Uh, cell reception was bad, like, and uh, we couldn't find our way in the dark. So we ended up um, having to walk around the whole Gillette Stadium parking lot, which is a whole ordeal. <sighs> like, concert got done at like 10 30 we didn't get in our uber until like one o'clock in the morning it was wild a time i'll never forget so fun um concert number two of 2022 was backstreet boys backstreets back on the do 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 okay i was so excited millennial and me so excited um if you see my video on some of my favorite CDs that I have, the Nostalgia, um, Larger Than Life, the Millennium, or the Millennial album, Millennium, excuse me. Um, but, oh my god, Nick, Nick was always my favorite growing up. Um, sorry, Kevin, least favorite. Uh, Brian and AJ tied for second favorite. Um, but I love the shirt. Love the shirt so much. Um, that was amazing. Oh my god, they put on such a good show. The Call is one of my favorite um, Backstreet Boys song. I was singing along, so many pictures. Um, again, I never thought I would get to see him in concert. It was like, oh, I loved him when I was a kid. And then it's like, oh, I won't get to see him. But they put on an amazing show. I love that. Um, yeah, I really, really had a good time at that show. Um... But yeah, Backstreet Boys, I would totally go see them again. Um, we already talked about my third show of 2022, which was Keith Urban. <laughs> I'm so excited to talk about this one. Um, my fourth concert of 2022 was freaking Lady Gaga. I've seen Lady Gaga live. Oh my god, the Chromatica Stadium Tour. Chromatic Bob. Chromatica Ball uh, Stadium Tour. Interesting shirt, which tracks for Lady Gaga. Feeling like a monster. Um, oh my god. So not only did I get to see Lady Gaga, but it was at Fenway Park, which the Red Sox fan I am. Amazing venue to see a concert. Like, we were not close to the stage, but she had some pyrotechnics and we could still feel the flames from the fire. Um, amazing show. Telephone, Bad Romance, um, Mary the Night, which he didn't sing, but that's one of my favorite Lady Gaga songs. She's on Shallow. Pfft, amazing, amazing show. Oh my God. She is amazing. I would see her again in a heartbeat. So good. So good. Um, and my, la my the last concert that I had been to in 2022, which makes five, um, had a chance to make it six. Uh, with Bruno Mars, but I just, I just couldn't do it. Um, but was Aerosmith. So the Aerosmith tour, that was amazing. Steven Tyler still got it. Dream on. I don't want to miss a thing. That was super cool. Amazing. Rock royalty to be able to see him in concert. So good. So good. Um... So that is it for the concerts I've seen. Um, so who I would like to see in concert. Um, Rihanna. A lot of people I'm sure would like to see Rihanna in concert. Um, loved her music for a long time. I know she's kind of doing her. Um, she's got kids now. She's doing her uh, Fenty Beauty and all that. But I'd love to see her. I would love to see Taylor Swift in concert. All too well shirt. Um, uh else do I want to see in concert? 
um I'm a, I like rock I like classic rock I would love to see Def Leppard I'd love to see Def Leppard in concert like pour some sugar on me like amazing would love to see them in concert um Oh, Katy Perry. I, I would like to see Katy Perry in concert. I know a lot of her music. Um, but I will end on um, this is the shirt also that I'm going to show you. This is like one of the few things I have from Hot Topic and I bought this in high school. The Killers. Mr. Brightside is like my legit favorite song. Um, my best friend who watches these videos. Open up my eager eyes. Oh, Mr. Brides. I'm when I sing that. I love that song. Um, but I would love to see the killers in concert. That would be the dope. Um, but that will conclude it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed this meandering ramble soft spoken video about my concert experiences. If you've been to any cool concerts, any particular artists that you like, please um list them in the comments. And like I said, I might do a video next month after my Luke Bryan fourth time concert experience. Um, but I hope you enjoyed. Hope this video brought you some sleep, peace, relaxation, or soothing background noise for work or school. In the meantime, I hope you all have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, and I will catch you all in my next video. Take care.